everybody. It's Rebecca at uh, Rebecca's Vintage Beads. Uh, today we're doing a video sale. Uh, I have a lot of vintage books, linens, and handmade goodies. So I thought I would come on and try this video sale. We'll see how it goes. Um, if you'd like to place an order, just email me at this address and uh, send me the item number, description, and price and I will work you up an invoice. There will be two sales this week. One will be all beads, and this one will be other crafty goodiness that I can pull from my stash. So let's get started. Okay, item number 80. This is my worldwide stamps. I have a big a tin that I bought at an estate sale of worldwide stamps. Uh, you get a big bag of over 100 stamps for $1.50. Uh, there's Australia, Spain, India, Belgium, there's the United States, there's the Philippines, there's Russia, just from what I can see. Uh, Pakistan, wow, there's all, all over the world. These are really cool stamps, uh, $1.50, and I have plenty, so just tell me if you want any. Number 80. Number 81, these are little mini doilies. Uh, these are going to be $2.50. They are, there are 10 in each pack. They're little cream doilies. You get two of those. You get uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of, excuse me, eight of these little round ones that are little medallion flowers. Eight of those, nine, excuse me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, so this is a nine piece set. I thought it was a 10. Then you get a little spider on top, cutie patootie. So you get nine doilies for $2.50, all in cream. That is number 81, $2.50 mini doilies. I have three available. All right. Okay, number 82. Sorry, it's my first time uh, doing the video with my craft goodies. Well, I've done books before, but not the craft goodies, so bear with me. Number 82. I have several of these um, little embellishments. They are little flowers made out of uh, lace, feathers, and this uh, leopard print. And you can make bows with them, all kinds of thingies. So it's already made. It's backed with uh, like a felt substance. So I have like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. And they're going to be uh, 50 cents a piece. Seven of these, number 82. Number 83, this is a cool item. This is, I just, first I didn't know what it was, but it's a handmade bonnet. And I put it on backwards. <laughs> That's how much I know about bonnets. <laughs> it is a handmade bonnet with the little ribbing on it. And that is your bonnet with the little strap here to wrap around your, um, chin so anyway it's pretty cool uh we'll do this for two dollars for the first me it's number 83 two dollars okay number 84 if you missed out on that this is the set of whale tail tabs that are in spring colors not only do you get 10 of the whale tail, you also get 10 of the regular tabs for your journals, and they're pink, uh, yellow, green, blue, uh, all uh, some of the uh, Tim Holtz paper I used in this, but it's all spring colors. You get 20 in the pack, and this is $2, number 84. I have two available. 
Number 85. These, I have three of these available. This is rusted fabric. It's two inch wide by a yard long. I uh, rusted and walnut stained this fabric. I have three available and it's number 85 for two dollars. Number 86. These are little tiny crocheted flowers. You get a variety of colors. Red, pink, green, burgundy, yellow, blue. Uh, so you get 10 flowers. I have, they're $2. And I have five available. Number 86, tiny flowers. Number 87. So I've got these tiny doilies. I thought I had one open. I could show you. These are really tiny doilies. Great for your journals to put on a bulb pin. They are about a half an inch wide. You get 10 in a package for $2. They're white. Okay, I have as many of those as you want. Number 87, $2 mini doilies. Okay. Number 88. Okay, I have these packs of silk roses. They are, um, what did I put on there? I think there's 30 in the pack. Don't quote me on that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 20. 20, maybe plus, 20 plus in the package. Number 88, we're going to do these for $2. There's three available. Number 89. So, I have these big bags of ribbon. If you make bows, if you make bookmarks, if you like to put, use these as tabs in your journals, they're wonderful. These are all big, huge bags of ribbon in every color. I have four available, and they're a dollar a piece. Number 89, ribbon. Number 90, I have this, uh, a yard of this uh, cotton fabric that's stamped vintage. I have two in white and one in coffee dyed. Isn't that pretty? So uh, number 90 is $3, A or B, white or tan, number 90. Number 91, these are two little rooster uh, chicken, I guess they're napkins. They are, let me see, I forgot to measure, 20 by 14 and a half. This is A, it's a little blue with uh, roosters on it, all cotton. And this one is the B. It's yellow with little chickens and roosters. A or B, number 91, they're a dollar a piece. Number 91. Number 92. I have two bags of vintage lace. This is all old vintage lace, and they are just pieces that were not quite a yard. So I have two bags available. Number 92, these are going to be $5 a bag. Number 93, I have this bag of lace, 
and you get a yard of each. Let me show you. These are all vintage. These two are cream. Then I have mint green and I have mint blue. That's the sweetest little lace you ever saw. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? So uh, the whole bag is $8, number 93. I only have the one for eight yards, a dollar a yard. Number 94. So I've been crafty while I've been in. I'll leave my letters here. And then you can also just tell me the color if you prefer. But I have made you more tassels for your journals. I love doing this. So let me get them laid out here. I have, I can make as many as you want. But um, right now I think I have three of each made. And we'll do the rest in a minute. Number 94. I have blue and green tassels. Fiber tassels. B is uh, yellow, turquoise, lavender. It's really springtime colors. C is all neutral, but this was leaning in the brown range. So it's tan and brown. So it's very vintage looking. And D is Sherbert, just a kaleidoscope of color. And they're a dollar each, number 94, tell me the color, that would be helpful. Uh, blue green, pastel, springtime, the brown, or the kaleidoscope of color. Okay, that's number 94. Number 95, I have purple. Uh, is this blue or purple? It's purple. <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> okay, and then I have pink and green. I have four of those. And I have, so A is purple and blue. That's what it is. The two, two colors mixed together, purple and blue. These are really sweet tassels. This is pink and green. B is pink and green. And I have one of the baby blue left. And one of the pretty yellow for springtime. So number 95, they're a dollar each. Let me know what color you prefer. Number 95. Okay, number 97, I lost 96. Okay. Number 97, these are beautiful lace tassels. So I made you lace tassels for your journals. And, um, Number 97, they're going to be $2 a piece. And I have four made, but I could make, no, I have five made, but I can make as many as you want. Lace tassels, white and cream together. Number 97, $2. Okay. Number 98. So this is one of my little crafty bits I did. <laughs> I made these little shabby chic uh, paper clips, hidden paper clips and paper clips. And it's on a journaling card. And so this is uh, one of them with the vintage yellow flower. This is a yo-yo that I made paper clip. And then the uh, vintage uh, filet crochet. And you get it on this beautiful journaling card. These are $2.50. I have six made. Number 98, $2.50. I, I call them my shabby chic journaling cards. OK. 
Okay, number 99. So I made these tiny doily flower paper clips. The tiniest. And you know I make doily flower paper clips, but these are on the tiny side, less than an inch wide. Uh, you get this beautiful uh, tag that's pink roses and blue roses, and then the paper clips are attached. Are they pretty? These are going to be two dollars and fifty cents, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight made. Number ninety-nine, two fifty, eight made. Tiny paper clips. Number 101, these are my handmade uh, foreign language paper sewn envelopes, but wait, inside you get some stamp ephemera, you get 10 vintage worldwide stamps, you get two stamp paper clips, and then you get the sweet uh, stamp journaling card that comes with it. So the whole set is $250. The envelope and the stamp ephemera, number 101. I have seven available. Number 101. What did I say? $250. I wrote something else down. Number 104. This is, um, I'm sorry I didn't measure, but I, I assume it's about three yards. Let's see if I'm right. It's four yards and about 10 inches. This is a sequin trim. It's a cream color, sequin and beaded trim. This is going to be $8, number 104, for all of it. Okay, number 105. So I made these pink uh, hidden paper clips, hidden doily paper clips. I had this uh, doily with this beautiful uh, ruffle. So I made you hidden paper clips out of it. They're going to be random. I have um, seven of this pink doily ruffle paper clips, seven available. They're a um, dollar each, number 105. Pink paper clips, number 105. Number 106. So let's get my letters down here. I made some beautiful doily wreaths for your journals. And I put little butterflies on them. This is um, like the big doily wreath I made. It, it's in my living room. I love it. it it inspires me every day. Well, I wanted to create a small doily wreath for your, your journals. And I came up with this idea. And um, so there's been several variations if you've followed me. But this is the one with the butterfly. These are springtime flowers. Yellow, blue, pink. And it has a yellow butterfly. B is the springtime flowers with the little white butterfly. And C has the purple flower wreath with the little white butterfly. And D has the springtime flowers with the blue butterfly. Now we can do these random or you can pick. It's up to you. But if you want to pick, tell me the uh, letter number. This is item number 106. They're $1.50. Number 108. Oops. I also have the plain doily wreaths, which I make. 
Let me show you. I love making these. Okay, this is the uh, pink, well, no, it's peach. Peach flowered doily wreath. These are flat, so you can put them in your journals and it's not going to bulk them up. I have two in the pink and burgundy. Just really sweet. Great for Valentine's. I have the teal flowers with the teal butterfly. And the peach flowers with the cream butterfly. So great embellishments. They're $1.50, number 108. Tell me the letter number. Okay. Now, um, well, let's see. These are harder, but I think I can do it. Hold on. Number 109. These are my famous doily paper clips. <laughs> um, so I made doily paper clips all day one day. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. So let me show you what I've got here. I love doing this. I'll get them in order. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see, I think I have more of B. Okay, that's it. A is this beautiful little white hidden paper clip with the white organza flower and the leaves it's beautiful i have four of those b is this little cream one with the blue flower in the middle i made a bunch of the little sweet doll button hidden paper clips aren't they sweet they're on a doily with these little sweet doll buttons aren't they sweet and so it's going to be random but I have six of those made. And then I made the beautiful green doily hidden paper clips again with the little vine. Aren't they pretty? So these are, I have four of the D, the green. So these are a dollar each. Wait a minute. A, B, and D are a dollar. And the button ones are $2. C is $2. That's number 109. Okay. All right. And if you want any of the doily paper clips in colors, I have them available. Just email me and let me know what color you want. I, I have gold, pink, and purple and mint available. Okay. Alrighty. Next. So, as you know, I make doily flowers. So I knew I was out. Oh, I'm out of. Oops. I knew I was out, so I made some more for you. So these are the doily flowers, and I'll show you just a variety, but it's going to be random. This is what I mean by my doily flowers. This is organza with um, doilies, lace with doilies, organza and lace with doilies. I have them in colors, cream, white, and blue. I have purple cream. And I have pink. So they're $2.50 per bag. And they're going to be random. I have about 40 made. If you would like a sp specific color, tell me. And I will do my best to give you that specific color. There's another really pretty one. 
So doily flowers, two dollars and fifty cents. Let me know what color you would like, or just they're random. Okay. This is item number 100, and we will need my letters. These are milk tops, vintage milk tops. This is A, and you get um, four in there. This is B. This is C. And this is D. Four, wait a minute, I'm, I'm mistaken. One, two, yeah, four in there for $4 each, A, B, C, or D. Item number 100, milk, tap, milk tops. Okay. All right. So, there it is. So let me show you what I've got here. Move my letters. I don't know if y'all make this or not, but I make little rolled roses. Okay. This rolled rose was made using this torn fabric. Little roses on it. Pink roses. I also have made it in uh, mint, plain mint and mint with flowers on it. And I've also made it with my satin blue ribbon, which I have a lot of. So if you want to make rolled roses and you want to try it, here, I got all the material you need for you. It's going to be the torn fabric is a dollar a yard. And you can make probably three rolled roses, depending on the size, out of a, a yard of fabric. Uh, there are videos about how to make them, but it's basically roll and turn, roll and turn, roll and turn. Um, so this is the pink flower, the plain mint, the mint with flowers, and the blue satin. In, they're a dollar a yard. So just tell me the color, and you too can make your rolled roses. Oh, I forgot my number. So sorry. It's item number 103, rolled rose fabric. Hard to say all at once. <laughs> rose, rose fabric. Okay. Getting the fabric and tearing it is the time consuming part. I did all that for you. All right. So here we go. A, B, C, or D, item number 110. So I have some lace, and I'm going to do it by the yard. Uh, this is going to be $2 a yard. These are all vintage. This is a gorgeous roses on this teal blue. That's A. B is this gorgeous red. Okay. And C is the narrower red. Say that twice. Lots of that. And D is this baby blue. Beautiful baby blue. So if you would like some of the colored lace, they're $2 a yard, A, B, C, or D. That's number 110. 111. I have dark burgundy with this gold metallic edge. I have this sweet little lavender, which is kind of unrolled. Sweet little lavender. 
and I have dark grape this dark grape grape purple and then I have a really pretty pink pale pink these are two dollars a yard number 111 Number 112. I have this vintage lace with a ribbon attached. It's cream. I have this beautiful pink lace with little pink hearts. Pink and white. I have a large amount of this uh, evergreen Christmas green color and then last but not least I have this beautiful coral vintage lace all right that's a b c or d number 112 two dollars a yard all vintage. Okay. Okay, let me go to the books now. Woohoo! Number one four uh, one thirteen. So, <laughs> let me show you, oh my word, if you, you know, you know me, and I love collage, right? This book is amazing. It's from the 1800s, it's item number 113, and it is in Arabic. Isn't that amazing? It's all in Arabic and the book's falling apart. And so because it's falling apart, I'm going to share some with you. Um, great for collage. It's collage gold. So if you would like to get some pages of this Arabic book, they're going to be 10 pages for $3. The book cost me quite a bit. 10 pages of this 1800s Arabic book for $3, number 113. Schmitz. Okay. And number 114. I have this Texas wildflower book. A Field Guide to Texas Wildflowers. It's $8. They are shiny pages, but you know, you can matte them by adding matte medium to it. Beautiful sizes for tags. Um, all about Texas wildflowers. Okay, this is $8, number 114. Number 115, this is a German book. It's from 1951. It has beautiful pages, a very caramel color, thick page. German, it's gonna be $7, number 115. Number 116, I have three of. This is 1964, the Monocle magazine. I have three of them. The Monocle was produced, it says, politics, polemics, and satire for the sub-influential. In, <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. Um, the Monocle, it's got beautiful colored pages. There, there is uh, print, there's 
writings, there's advertising. It's a really cool book. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> um, and the, the pictures are kind of funny. I mean, they're kind of um, whimsical. So I have three of these old monocles from 1964. There's letters from state. There's uh, magazine articles. Look at the color of the paper. Yeah. So um, it's a cool book. Three available. They're $8 a piece from 1964. Number 116 is the monocle. Number 117. This is a uh, beautiful. Let me get these. All three. They are. Oops. Not that. I have three of these large, meaning lots of pages, uh, music books from 1962. And it's the beautiful music that has no script. The pages are large and, I mean, great for envelopes, great for your journals. This is item number 117. Look at this one. Bach. Oh, man. Don't you love it? This is like a cream paper. Classics is a white paper. And then the green book is cream paper. But it's all without writing. Okay. So these are $10 each. They are old from 1962. Number 117. What am I talking about old? That's as old as I am. 60 years old. Okay, number 118. This book is a mind blower. I just couldn't believe I found it. It's the News Motorist Turing Maps and, Gaz and Gazetteer. It's from 1951. It's only all about the maps of the British Isles. I kid you not. Look how pretty. The maps of the British Isles. Do you know that different maps have different colors of their land land areas? Most of the ocean is blue, but like I, you'll see here in a minute, I have a map from Saudi Arabia that's all brown. And this one happens to be all green maps, green and orange or dark red, dark rust color. So a very cool book. Very old, 1951, map of the British Isles. Now, let me show you the back. This is great for tags and backgrounds. Look at the font. See if it'll focus here. Isn't that beautiful? Just for background, uh, this is like gold, collage gold. Number 118, it's $10. Number 118. Some cool books for you. Number 119. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do, let's see. Okay. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. So I have these maps. This is happens to be Italy. Three maps of Italy, and they are like this. Big. I'm not going to fold it out because you know maps. You never can get it back together. This is all about Italy. I have three available. They're two dollars a piece. Wait a minute. These two are two dollars a piece. That a. This one is a big one from. Michelin, which is a lot more map to it. This is all Italy. This one is $4, and it's older, too. It's from... Eight, oh, 1988. Oh, so excuse me, 1936. Uh, Michelin, Italy map, $4. 
So one nineteen, two dollars for the A, four dollars for the B. Italy, Italy. Then I'll have to use my letters. I thought I could do it without it. Number one twenty. These are uh, Michelin maps, so they're the large ones. This one is all about France. Big, huge France map. Uh, and Angers Tour New Orleans or Orleans. It's not. Uh, it's in French. French. That's B. I have uh, Nice, Marseille. Look how pretty that one is. That's C. And then I have this beautiful one of Avergine. It's a big one, too. Look how pretty. So that is number 120. They're $4 each for the French maps. Number 121, I have this map of Quebec, and I'm trying to get it where I can show you, it's a biggie, most of it is in white and blue, map of Quebec, this is the United Arab Emirates, this is the one I told you was in tan colors a very cool map united arab emirates is b southeast asia southeast asia let's see this one is the soviet union that's how old this is that's D. Uh, number, oh, I have two of the Soviet Union. These small ones are $2 each. Number 121, A, B, C, or D. Number 122, I have maps of Scotland. And these are huge. Look how big. Scotland. I have Umbria. Look, at, this is all cream. The maps are cream. That's B. This one is Toscana. Whoop. Trying to get it out. It's so big. It comes. I mean, it's like a yard long, girls. I kid you not. Or <laughs> kids. It's huge. So this is Umbria. It's a this these maps are huge. They are they are a, a yard long. <laughs> um, and then I have this Michelin map from well actually it's not Michelin it's Kimberly and Fry. It's also Italy. All Italy. It's one of the big ones. Four dollars, A, B, C, or D. Okay. Then I have Yugoslavia, Morocco, the Cotswolds, and that's where we'll end. These maps are four dollars. This is Yugoslavia. This is Morocco. This is another one that's all beige because of all the um, land being probably desert. That's what I think. And then this one is Cotswold, England. And it's got a lot of pink, pink in it. Pink and red. Cotswold, England. Those are $4. A, B, or C, number 122. almost done number 123 
I have these Michelin books. These are old travel books from, I want to say, probably from the 50s. It's the first edition, so you know they're really old. This one is Italy. Now, if you don't know, this has ephemera galore. It's got maps. It's got lots of writing. It's got pictures. The maps, see pictures. It's got really nice maps that are a tan color. So very looking. Uh, I use this all the time for ephemera. That is the 